we're here today um, to launch a really, really unique project. It involves children, and I think everything involving children and their future is something that we all need to embrace. And that's what this project is today, GROMS. But what we're really trying to do here is to promote, especially through schools, the idea that we can link up and start growing things uh, collectively. Children uh, will basically have the, the future in their hands. When the children are able to take tomatoes from the garden down to the kitchen, and then from the kitchen um, to the table, they see the whole interconnectedness of the math and science lessons of eating differently. So I encourage you, just starting with little seeds, we can all make the world and our health and our lives better. The minister in Washington, Ms. Um, Justin Cruz, she contacted our school because she was looking for a school to carry this project. The kids, they contain uh, seeds of plants that can be used to make uh, different meals afterwards. Uh, for instance, you have the, the taco uh, kit or the pizza kit. So the, the herbs that are inside can be used later to make this meal, the tomatoes, the cilantro, the basil, etc. Uh, my class was the first to participate in the project. The first kit was a herb garden kit and it landed in November with uh, four children and the rest of the kits. Uh, five more we planted in January. They had to share the task within the group. And uh, one day one will water, the next day uh, the one will do that. Uh, but also to take the plant outside and bring it back in. Each of them had their own task uh, they, um, that they should do. In my class, the children work in groups, and each kit contains uh, four plants, and uh, the groups um, have four or five children. So children really like to do it. First day, thing they do when they come to school is look at their plants and see how they, how they've grown and something happened to them and if they've fallen down they come to me immediately and they are just um, yeah, really enthusiastic. Um, this is the basil and the, the name of the character is Baby Basil. This is Reagan Ra Oak and this is the oregano. This is Frank Cilantro is a cilantro. This is Elvis Parsley is the parsley and this is Reagan Oregano and Baby Basil. This is Elvis Parsley. If you go see on the website, you can see that he gives you information about the plants and he can give you information about his plants. We asked Santa Rosa for their expertise to help us with uh, the knowledge and the how-tos. They uh, came to us with a, a training session in an afternoon and gave us the tips of what to do and what not to do. With that, they helped us also with potting soil, which they delivered for us. Before I told them to bring uh, uh, their own pot, so what they did was uh, they, came, they, they went on their own because they were so enthusiastic about this project and they start already uh, buying uh, or asking their parents to buy one or two pots. My favorite part is um, we, can, um, we, we can study the plants, give them water every day. It's kind of fun. My favorite part of the project was when we had to plant the, the seeds. My favorite part is that when we planted it, it, it was fun. I, find it, I found it nice because you get to hang out with your friends while you're planting natural foods and eating healthier. The most fun thing is well, when you plant them, you will see how they grow from small to big. My favorite part is growing, seeing the plants grow and watering them. My favorite part was that we can all spend together, together to plant plants and then we, when we get bigger, we know how to do them. When you get to see the, the plants grow, you get, to, you get to see nature grow. The one that grew the highest was basil. It went to 28.1 centimeters. 
We have some plants at home too, but we have a, a farm too, and then we have more plants at home. I want to cook um, tacos because the name of our group is his Taco Garden. I saw a couple of jalapenos, they didn't even grow, and a couple of other plants, but I saw one jalapeno a little bit green. I put them outside in, in the morning, and I take them back. When the plants get bigger, I will make um, pizza and tacos. When the plants get bigger, I would like to cook um, tacos, pizza, and a salad. I would like to cook a pizza. I will ask for my mother to help me. I water the plants each day. We give extra water to the plants on Friday that they have enough water for the weekend. We had some problems because um, some of the kids, mostly the, the first graders came off and started putting all our plants out and ripping off the leaves. I like to prepare the jalapeno because, I, because for me it's healthy and sometimes, sometimes it's spicy for me, but I like to eat it. We were contacted by a Minister of Planning Potentiary, uh, Jocelyn Cruz, uh, and uh, she told us about a very exciting project which uh, one of the schools in Washington DC was working on. And uh, we thought this would be a really great idea for the, to have two sister schools um, compare their experiences using the Grown's kit. very important for them uh, to know uh, towards which goal we are going. They are so enthusiastic about it, they take responsibility. Mm -hmm. The only problem we have, they want to water the, the plants uh, too much, too too much, much yeah, on the yeah. day. I've chosen four pupils to take over or to care um, about the plants. It's something different for them because they know about plants or they see all overall plants, but they're not actually doing it in the yard or with the family or and doing yeah. it on at and school. And here, here they have to take care of it instead of the grown-ups. Kisela from fifth grade, she told me that it went so well and she saw opportunities in using this project in, in, in integrating it with cooking and math, math. with the metric measurement oh, yeah. and all of that. Our school was a pilot school for grown-ups. Mm -hmm. So if you want to send a message to the next school that's going to grab onto this project, what would be the advice that you would give another teacher? Uh, don't be afraid <laughs> to begin with something new. It's on not only your responsibility, but also more of the children. It's important that we continue with it. So mm -hmm. we have to encourage them mm -hmm. not, to, not give to give up. up.